For more on this doping scandal na nakaka-apekto sa sport ng tennis, kasama natin ang dating courts at reporter and UAP tennis player, Bea Fabregas. Bea, welcome back to ABS-CBN. Thank Good to see you. you. Hello, uh -huh. how are you? And napaka-exciting yeah. to be back here. Welcome to the score. Okay, mm. pag-usapan natin itong first love mo, itong tennis, and how Hi. it rocks your world as well. Anong Grabe. unang reaction mo? when you heard uh, Maria's uh, admission? Actually, sa totoo lang, may nag-tweet kasi sa akin. Okay. Kasi nga, may in-announce niya na, okay, I have a big announcement, yes. ganun. So, nang dami nang tatanong, parang, kasi obviously all the tennis fans, mm. you know, were saying that she was gonna retire. So, yeah. ako parang, ano to? Mm -hmm. Like, I doubt she's gonna retire. Yeah. And early the next morning, nakita ko nga yung article, and nga nga, as in, wala talaga akong mm. masabi. Because when you think about Sharapova, you just associate her with the tennis sweetheart, you know, yeah. the the idol, the role model of all these girls, mm -hmm. you know, she's won five, you know, different majors and she's won on all surfaces as well. Right. So parang, wala ko masabi. So mm -hmm. at the moment, my first reaction was, let's give it time, mm -hmm. muna natin to develop this, how the story will develop, let's see kung yeah. there's gonna be more details. Mm -hmm. But at first, I believed her. I really was just like, let's give her nah, the, honest yes, mistake. by an honest okay. mistake, let's give her the benefit of the doubt. From okay. the first article na nakita ko. Okay. And then as the day went by, parang napaisip ako as, okay. you know. And then, yung report ng manufacture ng drug, that's very crucial now. Yes. Lahat nag-uusap na, uy, teka lang, four to six weeks lang pala dapat ang normal usage ito yes. for whatever it helps the body for. Yes. And then now that we know that Sharapova used it for 10 years, yes. although we don't have to use it every day. Yes, they, the, her, uh, apparently, na, sumagot na agad yung lawyer niya, yeah. sabi na, you know what, I, we don't want the public to think na araw-araw niya ito ginagamit. Yeah. So I think she used it as needed, you okay. know, for, you know, whenever she needed it. Pero nakakataka pa rin, like 2006, I mean, ang tagal-tagal na nun. Mm -hmm. She won her first Grand Slam in 2004. Right. So that's basically buong career niya, TJ. Yep. So parang... You must speculate ka talaga. Right, right. Even if you're a fan, mm -hmm. even if diehard ka na parang hindi, hindi maaari to, okay. hindi niya magagawa to, you really start to think. Okay. Now, for other athletes that have been caught uh, doping, uh, like even like a Lance Armstrong yes. and others, there have always been suspicion na, grabe naman na kasi to. Tao ba yan? Yeah. Was there ever a point that Maria was like that? Na even na konting pagdududahan mo siya na, kaya ba ng tao yan? Actually, you know, sa totoo lang, nakakagulat siya kasi Sharapova has had injuries. Okay. Diba? She's had her shoulder injury. She's been out a couple of times. Uh -huh. There was even, I'm, I'm not sure kung anong year yun, mga 2008. Ang hmm. sama talaga ng laro niya. She would, okay. she would lose sa first round. So, it's a, it's a story na you'd really, you'd feel inspired to. Kasi okay. parang bumabalik siya eh. She'll yeah. bounce back from injury. So, Nakaka, it's really surprising. I mean, I, I definitely don't think it's something like the Lance Armstrong thing where it was total deception. Yeah, but I okay. feel like there is something that doesn't fit the story. Okay. Especially pa, you know, if we talk about it nga, sabi nga, it's only available in Russia. Yun na nga eh. Uh, oh, it's he, made in Russia, it's only available in Russia. In Russia. Oh, oh. Parang kumbaga sa atin, suman. I mean, oh, tayo lang gumagawa. Oh, tayo something oh, like that. Ganun okay. siya. Oh. So parang hindi siya available and it's not approved in the US. Mm. And I think yung... They said she, she had magnesium deficiency, she had some um, tests that led to possible diabetes, but mm -hmm. they were all tests. So, okay. I guess we're in the dark about a lot of details, mm -hmm. pero yun nga, parang magdududa ka talaga. Okay, okay. from uh, what you've observed, of course, of course we've heard Jennifer Capriati, yeah. we've heard Serena, from other you know, tennis people, from the local tennis mm -hmm. senior friends, former tennis players, Anong sentiment niyo lahat? Anong anong nababasa mo sa reactions? Ah, uh, devastation okay. <laughs> basically. Pero I think ang gusto talaga nila, they want her to bounce back. Cuz okay. I really think that Sharapova, sweetheart talaga siya. At saka mm -hmm. idol, idol talaga 'yan ng lahat ng mga bata. Right. Like when it comes to her game, ginagaya 'yan. Like mm -hmm. alam mo 'yon, the way she plays, her form, yeah. her outfits. Mm -hmm. And she's just she's just a a representation of women's tennis, you mm -hmm. know, aside from it's either Serena ka or Sharapova kahit lagi siyang natatalo kay right. Serena. But right. you know what I mean? So I think everybody wants her to bounce back. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I'm thinking about how long she'll be out. Because mm -hmm. we don't know, right? It Yuna could nga. be two years, could, could be, be four, four years. years. Kung four uh, years, will she come back? I think... How old is she? She's, she's 28. 28. She's 28. She'll be 32 by then. I was just thinking, because mm -hmm. I was thinking, Mera na namang nawala tas bumalik eh. Okay, na uh, two years na lalo ni si Kim Clijsters. Yes. Kim Clijsters okay. retired in 2007, bumalik. Ano siya bumalik yeah, she had a child. Okay. Oh, bumalik siya 2009 tas nanalo siya ng three Grand Slams after that. Right. After retirement. So, two years so parang pa. two years, okay. pa, but she was 26. 
Uh, she was 26. So, 28. She came back at 26? She came back at 26. Okay. So, that's so a different story from 32. Layo, eh. layo I know. I'm, you know, I'm in the <laughs> latter part of my 30s. So I know the difference of yeah. 26 and 32. Uh oh. Very different. And to say, like, and in the tennis world, like, mm -hmm. it's not like, I, I mean, at, let's say basketball. Mm -hmm. Kai, that's very, ano pa eh, that's okay pa yun eh. But mm -hmm. 30 in the tennis world, I guess it's because it's, you're also alone on the court. It's an individual right. sport. It takes a different toll on your body. Like Correct. Federer. Federer is 34. Right. Lolo na yan. Correct. <laughs> Kung baga in dog mo, years, uh, baka 50 something. Lolo no, na because si Fed. Put it in context, Bea. How old did they start playing very competitive tennis? Um, in the early well, teens, diba? Sharpov has been competing since she was like 11. Yeah, right. Her and relationship. That's very, kung baga parang pro na siya nun. Although exactly. hindi siya pro nun, pero parang she pro na buhay niya. She started when she was 4, oh, PJ. 4, exactly. That's playing the sport. If you play, like ako, nagsimula ako 8 years old. Oh. Sobrang late na nun. <laughs> As in, late, late na nun, 8 years old, exactly. So, kasi by that time, kailangan nagko-compete ka na sa 10 and under. Kailangan tinatalo mo na yung buong mundo by then. So, you know, 28, you've been playing it for a long, long time. So, I think, I mean, if nothing is impossible, she's a champion, you know, to bounce back. But definitely, think about her. She won her Grand Slam when she was 17. So, when she's 32, there's gonna be some new kid na 17 years old na hindi mo kilala, tas biglang rising star na. So, feel ko yun yung yung malabo dito. Eh. Four years would be very long. Two okay. years, sige, pagbigyan pa natin. So, the, the, the playing competitively at that high level, at, you know, after two or four year ban is one thing. Another thing is, ano na yung magiging persona niya? Ano na magiging public perception yan, yan, niya? Who yan. will Sharapova be at that time na found guilty, yeah. punished, and then will you still bounce back as yeah. the icon of tennis? Yun nga eh. I think, I think people, like let's say if she is, because ano yun eh, they're waiting if she really if she really used it okay. to to enhance her you know her performance yun yung hinihintay natin eh parang kung hindi niya talaga alam yeah. let's see how the sentence will be pero kung alam niya 4 years yun or more diba? right. so <laughs> i'm thinking she could be forgiven mm -hmm. like cuz you know we we forgive naman it's fine you can give a person a second chance but i really feel like so many people will be heartbroken yeah. and disappointed definitely can, can they and will they get to the details of it kaya kasi of course she was tested yeah, yeah. And that was just to prove that she took it shortly before, arguably, before yes. the Australian Open, okay. which was January this year. Yes. So can they backtrack and say, Teka lang, how many, how often have you used this in the yeah. last 10 years? Uh, sobrang hirap nga. And even her, her yung reason niya, sabi niya hindi niya nabasa yung listahan na nandun na yung band drum. Okay. So okay. parang, it, that's very important, entering yep. a, you know, a grand slam. Oh. You want to know kung updated man yung list. Gusto mo yeah. malaman yun. So, mm. you know. Especially, you know, that you're using a substance that is that only is available in Russia, in Russia and it was banned in the U.S. In the but US. not yet by the world. It's not, yeah, it wasn't approved in the U.S. It's not okay. banned. Okay. It was just not approved. something approved. So, alam niyang alanganin. Alanganin. Okay. Exactly. At saka, well, the thing is, ang sabi nila when they were doing tests, the reason why nagka red flag yung drug na to, kasi ang daming athletes na positive. Nagpositive so, parang, na. bakit ang daming athletes na gumagamit nito? Mm. So that's So she might fall under the same yeah, category that, as those who have abused oh, it. Oh, kasi yeah. ano may recovery siya, it gives you oxygen. Mm -hmm. it, it, I don't think it makes you stronger. I think it just helps with the recovery process, the mm -hmm. you know. Which the, still matters a lot. Oh, oh for so, professional so much. Athletes. Definitely, okay. definitely. Fearless forecast. Anong gut feel mo? Anong how do you feel about now that you know a little bit more details? Where do you stand right now on, on Maria? <sighs> Sadly, I mm. feel like it could have been na, nagamit nga niya. Oh, oh. It, at some point in okay. her career to help her advance, you know, coming from injuries. I don't want to think that. And I is that a bad that. thing it if it's an allowed substance by the, at that time? She, it was allowed, oh. I guess. So I guess it's not. it wasn't bad. But no, everybody else could use it, yeah. but not everybody's Russian. Not everybody knew. So <laughs> yeah. if you think, okay, she won those, mm. and it wasn't banned at the time, but she had some help that other people didn't they, have. Uh, yun nga. Yeah. May, may tulong siya na, you know, that didn't yeah. happen. So, nakakalungkot lang, but hopefully, I, I really am hoping for the best. All right. Well, many hearts are broken for now, but uh, we do hope that uh, things turn out well. I mean, a lot of people are really hoping for her mm. to come out this okay Definitely. and clean, more than those who want to pounce her and prove she's guilty. So, Bea, thanks for joining Thank us, you. and if there's any updates, we'll be talking to you again soon. Thank you, Bea Fab. Good to see you again. Thank you. For more sports updates, keep watching The Score and don't forget to subscribe.